I give the test on fractions. Half the kids have breakdowns. I, I still have a lot of kids who can barely handle whole numbers. Well, if it's any comfort, I have, outside of my advanced class, maybe half a dozen reading at grade level. Try having them on the periodic table of elements. The thing is, it's your curriculum, and you have to stick to it. I can't. It's absurd. You have to. That test in April is the difference between the state taking over the school or not. Maybe the state should. Look, you don't teach math. You teach the test. North Avenue is all about the leave no child behind stuff getting spoon fed. And what do they learn? Find some middle ground. Every day, try to do a little for the statewide. And keep a unit problem on the blackboard for Donnelly. You know, she comes to visit, she thinks you're on point. So the rest of the time, do what you feel like you need to do. But be careful. You're still on the far side of your evaluation. The first year isn't about the kids. It's about you surviving. Last year, we had MSAs in the 22 percentile. And don't think they haven't noticed it down at the Puzzle Palace. The word is they're looking for at least a 10-point increase from all city middle schools this time around. We're still six weeks away from the MSAs. You want us to start teaching the test now? This year, the preferred term is curriculum alignment. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with emphasizing the skills necessary for the MSA. If we can get them to write a paragraph without a four-letter word in it, it'll have to have better command of English. <laughs> Marcia, skill sets are one thing, but this has us teaching test questions directly. Test questions that involve skills. I don't see your point. I don't want to see the point. Were you really expecting something different than last year? I don't see the math section. These are all language arts questions. Our grade is failing on standardized tests last year. So for the time being, all teachers will devote class time to teaching language arts sample questions. Now, if you turn to page 11, please, I have some things I want to go over with you. I don't get it. All this so we score higher on the state tests? To read pages 11 if we're teaching the kids the test questions, what is it assessing in them? Nothing. It assesses us. The test scores go up. They can say the schools are improving. The scores stay down. They can't. Juking the stats. Excuse me? making robberies into larcenies, making rapes disappear. You juke the stats, and majors become colonels. I've been here before. Wherever you go, there you are. So, what's the first thing we do when we respond to a prompt? Randy. According to the text? According to the text. That's good. And how do we end the answer? Quinice. Huh? Come on. I know you know this. The above stated facts have led me to conclude that. Right? OK, so let's try to read the third paragraph. I'll start it. Pythias makes a final plea to the tyrant Dionysius to return to his home one last time. Calvin, pick it up to return to his home one last time before his punishment. He denies the request until Damon inter... intercedes and offers his own life until Pythias returns. Good. Who wants to guess what intercedes means? What about plea? Okay, what about the story then? How would you summarize it? Duquan, give it a shot. According to the text. Everybody's safe in the end, right? Okay, let's think this through. According to the text, Damon offers his own life on behalf of Pythias so that he can return home one last time. The above stated facts have led me to conclude that Damon values Pythias's Friendship and loyalty. Any questions? <sighs> the money saves Pitman.
Before, at least they were getting something out of it. To hell with my evaluation, to hell with Donnelly, to hell with the statewide test scores. I came here to teach, right? Good morning. I just dropped my stuff in my room and maintenance and Donnelly are in there checking the heat. It must be 80 degrees in there. 90 minute classes. Excuse me? This time of year, we go to 90 minute classes. Concentrated prep in math and language arts only. I don't follow, why the heat? It's the only way the kids will sit through 90 minutes of anything. Make them drowsy? Right. So it's about the tests. From now till they're done, everything's about the test. What you want? Mayu, yo, give him a mayu. Oh. What's good? Pick up if I know. You ain't supposed to cuss at the customer. For them. Call me, Darnell. All right. Let me get pizza. Pizza. Anything to drink? Grape soda. Quiet, please. That is it? Yeah. Thank you. Say thank you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Menu. Don't he gotta say thank you, too? Don't know. What the for? He's supposed to give it back. Because when you are polite to people, they treat you better. Have a yes, seat, please. please. Now, you try being the waiter, and Albert, you be the customer. What you want to eat? Give some crab cakes and a Coke. Yeah. Hurry that shit up, too. I'm on the phone nonstop with North Avenue. They're insisting every class teaches to the test. Look, I thought we were the exception. I mean, I mean, uh, that's the point of the project. They know that. No exceptions. And 90-minute blocks of math or language arts only. This class, the kids can't do 30 minutes without climbing the walls. Look, isn't this somebody we can sit down and talk with? Face to face. Actually, that's the second thing they told me. The area superintendent wants to see the two of you tomorrow morning. Nine o'clock in the conference room. That's not bad. Yeah. But now look at the next example question on page 20. As you can see, if you turn to page 20, they will sometimes ask you for words that are the opposite of words that are underlined. Uh, thank you, Mr. Presbluski. Thank you. All right, put away your test notebooks. Work on those tomorrow. We have uh, 45 minutes left. We can do Last of the Mohicans. Oh. Or practice probabilities. Yes. Look at your sample test. Please. I got a statement, Mr. Ted. I feel like y'all schemed us. This class is the same as the ones down the hall. Yeah, it's because the test coming up. OK, class, let's take a look at the sample math test. In sample A, we start Kids with right. this is what? This is short. Test material doesn't exactly four. speak to their world. Yeah, don't speak too loud to mine, either. Right? This is tracking, plain and simple. Oh, it, it, it's a socialization process. But to any parent who complains, you're still segregating them. But, I mean, it's, a, it's for their benefit, and, and for the benefit of teachers trying to teach. And you're proposing to expand this to every middle school? Well, enough grant money and your support, yes. By September. But you wouldn't be teaching test curriculum here? I mean, these would be the children left behind, so to speak. Yeah, but as it is, I mean, we're, we're leaving them all behind anyway. We just don't want to admit it. <laughs> What we, what we need to say is that we'll be in touch. So, what, that's it? The 10 minute hearing, they stick a fork in us? I'm a liability in there, man. Seems like they, every time I put my mouth in this town, I'm telling people something they don't want to know. But you, it's the process. The process, we get the grant. We study the problem, we propose solutions. If they listen, they listen. If they don't, it still makes for great research. What we publish on this is gonna get a lot of attention. From who? From other researchers, academics. <laughs> academics? <laughs> well, they're gonna study your study. <laughs> well, 
when do it change? <laughs>